Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist that I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, we are going to talk about fearing what people think because as a content creator, as a musician, as anybody in any kind of industry when you're trying to put yourself out there, you are going to get people's opinions and I feel like this is probably one of the main reasons why people hold back and delay even starting their dreams and pursuing their dreams because especially when you're putting yourself online, there's going to be a lot of opinion and a lot of people just talking and also sharing their opinion with you, you know? It's one thing having people have an opinion about you, but for them to put it in the comments, to type it under your videos and to put it everywhere and bombard it in your face when you didn't even ask for it, that can be a lot to take and tolerate and also a lot to not get triggered by. So I want to talk about a perception shift that I had in my own journey because I was somebody that literally would hold back in every area of my life because I cared so much about what people thought and what they would potentially think and something that I've realised is that when we are thinking about what they are thinking we're thinking about our own perception of it. We're not actually in their mind hearing their thoughts. So we don't actually know what they think about us. We only know what we think they think about us. You know, like we don't actually know it and you can't put yourself in their mind to know it. And even when they share their opinion, we're still taking it from our perception. We're still taking it from our angle or our viewpoint based on our own circumstances and our own interpretation of it and everything. So it might not even be accurate the way that we interpret their words. And that's kind of the same with everything, even my videos talking here, the way that you perceive it may be completely different to the next person, you know? So when I understood that, my thoughts are not always accurate and that what they think somebody is thinking is not necessarily what they're actually thinking. It was so much easier to work through the fear of it. Like, obviously, I still think it. I still wonder what they're thinking. I still, like, interpret it in my own way when I read a comment or whatever. So it's not something that you can just get rid of. But I was able to work through the fear of it and the panic of it and then the overthinking of it because it's like, oh, I probably will never know. I probably will never understand exactly what their intent is or exactly how they meant it or exactly what they actually think. Like, I probably will never know this. So wasting my time trying to figure it out and stressing myself out trying to analyse how they're going to perceive it is literally pointless because I'm never going to know and it's none of my business to even know because the only thing I should be focusing on is how I think about myself because that's the thing that's going to create my reality, that's the thing that's going to affect my mood, so then that's going to affect how much action I take, how productive I am, how I speak to people because if I'm in a bad mood I might snap at somebody, you know, so like our thoughts have so much power over our lives and a lot of the time we spend so much time just over analysing everybody else and how they're perceiving us and what they're doing and why they think about us in certain types of ways instead of thinking about like hang on a minute the one voice that I can actually hear is my own and the one voice that I can actually control or um have more I don't want to say control because you can't control your thoughts but you can control how you react to them you know so it's like that's the one thing that I have the control over and the one thing that I can drive or guide instead of other people because we can't control not only can we not control other people's thoughts we can't control their actions we can't control how they feel and their emotions we can't control anything you know when you realize that it's like Okay. <laughs> okay then. So let me take this off my shoulders. Let me remove this burden. Let me stop stressing about them because I can't control it. You know, it's literally a waste of time. And let me shift my focus back to myself because I am the, the thing that I can control. And that will create my life in a way where the people that actually resonate with what I have to say 
will be able to enter my life and the people that are awful, the people that judge me and all of those kind of people, they can leave. And then even when I'm online and I'm putting myself out there and I'm creating my art or whatever it may be, when I get these opinions of people that don't like what it is that I have to say or what I'm doing, it will no longer affect me because my energy field and my sense of self, like my relationship with myself, would be so strong. And so in my power and knowing who I am, like that whole thing, like your whole aura, your whole force field, everything will just be so grounded and solid because you're focused on yourself that their words won't even be able to penetrate through your energy field, you know, like it's not even going to affect you, you might not even notice it because you literally don't give a fuck, you know, so it's a game changer when you start to remind yourself of the fact that you cannot control their perception and oftentimes your idea of what they're thinking is not even accurate anyway so it's a waste of time and just like a a literal mental mind game with yourself it's not even with them because they're not aware of what you're thinking either so you can be analyzing their thoughts all day long but they are not in your head either so they're not going to know what you're thinking they're not going to know about your fears of them you know all they're going to be focused on is whatever's going on in their lives and whatever they're thinking and feeling about themselves and their lives. So, yeah, <laughs> I think it's just important to realise that it's all projection and perception and we cannot control other people. We can only control ourselves. So focusing on yourself is a game changer and it might not be easy. It might take you quite a while, especially if you've been brought up in environments where it's very judgy and it's normal to always have an opinion of somebody else and stuff and people always have an opinion of you. That's going to be a hard karmic cycle to work through. So I'm not saying that it's easy, but if you want to change your life, then you will put in the work to do it. You know, like if you want to free yourself from it, you will practice it daily to be able to achieve that because that's the whole purpose of life is to be able to be yourself and do whatever it is that brings you joy and have the relationships and interactions and create memories and things that also bring you joy so yeah I hope this video was helpful thank you so much for watching I really appreciate you definitely subscribe and like this video if you haven't already and check out the description box below for everything about me including my phone number because I do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and I will see you in the next video bye it's always been